What is up guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. As you can tell by the title, the new Warframe has finally been like officially announced. If you didn't know, we kind of knew about his name. It was Caliban and he is the sentient Warframe. So he's basically based off the sentient enemies in the game, but we have officially gotten all his abilities, all the description of the abilities and stuff and a picture of him now. This is the concept art for what he's gonna be looking like. Before we go over everything, if you are new to the channel and want to see more Warframe content from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any uploads. I am going to be covering the new war and the other Prime Resurgence updates. Drop a like if you enjoy this video and leave a comment if you're excited for Caliban. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of excited to get our hands on a new Warframe. It's always fun to see new Warframes. I feel like you never really know how Warframe releases could go because like they could be like completely meta changing or like or super overpowered or super bad like your rally but let's get into a look at his abilities as you can see here's the concept art right here and he's titled the sentient warframe okay so it looks like his first ability is going to be called the razor gyre become a spinning vortex of death hold fire to accelerate the maelstrom increasing damage then targeting an enemy to dash toward them hitting enemies inflicted with sentient wrath creates a destructive blast okay Okay, so we have some combos. Let's hop into Sentient Wrath real quick. Smash the ground, sending out a wave of destruction. Those not killed by the initial blast are helplessly lifted into the air where they continue to suffer damage for a short time. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The first thing that comes to mind for Sentient Wrath is it sounds like Rhino's Stomp ability, I think is what it's called. Except maybe a little bit better because it says you smash the ground and then if they're not killed by the initial blast, they just float in the air and take a little more damage over time. And this this is the ability that if you combine with the first one, Razor's Gyre, it'll create a destructive blast. And I'm not gonna lie, become a spinning vortex of death. That kinda sounds like Revenant's fourth ability, but I'ma stay open-minded because we do not have official gameplay yet of any of these abilities. These are just the descriptions. Then we have Lethal Progeny. I hope I pronounced that right. Don't attack me if I didn't. Call on Caliban's sentient aspect to produce up to three con list I can't pronounce words that are hard comrades to fight by his side and repair shields when not in combat okay I don't want to sound like a hater or complaining but this also sounds like Atlas's one ability where he summons those rock people or whatever I think they're called rumblers or something but it looks like you're gonna be able to summon up to three sentients to fight with you and they can heal you or heal your shields when you're not in combat so that actually sounds pretty fun i wonder if they're gonna be as strong as the normal sentients are this is also like very iffy because as we know some of the warframes abilities when it comes to like ai targeting can be kind of bad i think it's ninx or uh necros like his ai or her ai they're known to like be really bad with aim and stuff so we'll see how that goes but i am looking forward to it it sounds great on paper i'm not gonna lie and then we have fusion strike converge three streams of raw energy upon a single point causing a massive reactive blast the fallout from the blast will strip the armor from all enemies that touch it okay so that kind of sounds like wisp you know how she pulls out the sun from her little dimension or whatever? It sounds like that, except when you shoot it, it's gonna cause a big blast and that can strip enemy armor. Oh, and then we have the passive, adaptive armor. Allies within affinity range gain increased resistance to the types of damage they are currently taking. Okay, so that sounds like a built-in adaptation. That could actually be great, but we're gonna have to see how it works and of course how high the percentage would go because it doesn't say right here. Overall though, I'm super excited for this Warframe. Of course, you know me, I love new content and I love to see what DE is working on. Okay, so quick update, Caliban has officially, like, we've seen official gameplay now a little bit on the dev stream. This literally came out while I was in the middle of editing this video. So not only did we get Caliban announced, we're about to see him in-game. I also put my face cam on this side just so you can see, like, the devs over there, or over there, I guess it would be. But this is what he's gonna look like in the game. As you can see, we got a little bit of Caliban action right there. He looks really nice, like, 
like, oh my god, this is gonna be the ability where he summons three sentients to fight with him. As you can see, they're just chilling right next to him. This also looks like maybe some sort of new war map in the background. I don't know. This background does not look familiar wherever they're standing at. Maybe a new, I, I have no idea what it is. I'm not gonna lie. But Caliban looks great. As you can see, I'm super excited for him. But not only did Caliban get announced, Harrow Prime has been announced. This is what Harrow Prime is gonna look like in game. But yeah, it is official. Harrow Prime is the next Prime, even though we've all been known that kind of, but we can officially see what he looks like now in game. I'm super excited for Harrow Prime. I knew he was coming out soon, so I never really played the original Harrow that much because I was waiting for this, but I'm super excited. Now I can finally put some Forma into Harrow Prime. And this is what he looks like in the customization screen. I don't think they change his colors or anything, but this is what Harrow Prime is going to be looking like. Let me know if you guys like his Prime look. I think it's pretty cool, but I do prefer his Deluxe skin over it. And I do have his Deluxe skin just because I thought it looked so nice. But let's get back to the video. Sorry for interrupting because this literally came out while I was in the middle of editing this video. And I thought, why not throw it in there, you know? Let me know your guys' thoughts on this Warframe though, and maybe drop your predictions if you think he's gonna be a good Warframe or a bad Warframe. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like he definitely, or she, I don't know their gender, I guess it doesn't really say, well I don't even know if sentients have gender, but I feel like they're definitely gonna be a really good Warframe. I don't know, it just sounds like so much potential just off of what we see on paper, but of course we're gonna have to see gameplay and how it impacts implements into the actual game but yeah if you do want to see more warframe content for me stay updated with all that stuff make sure you hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any uploads drop a comment let me know your thoughts on this new warframe that we are getting and drop a like if you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one